Yeah, he said that on an email, pretty much. Yeah. Good sign. Yeah. It's a good sign. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to Loco Skates. We're going to do a basic unboxing and reaction video. Although we were going to do a reaction video, and then we took one take of this already. So <laughs> we've already reacted to unboxing the Faction Tactical V1 skates. Um, so you get like a non-genuine reaction video. Shall we open you them get up? To our second reaction. This is our <laughs> second, yeah, second <laughs> reaction. So Tactical V1 skates. Um, the reason that we did two takes is because we thought we would be like really off the cuff and we would do um, like a really genuine like, oh, we've just received these in the post, or we've just unboxed them, which is what we did do. And then we forgot to refresh our memory about the spec of the skates and whatnot um, by reading the website. So we all kind of forgot um, uh, what the spec was and just gave loads of misinformation, <laughs> <laughs> which is no good for YouTube video. So now we've got all the right information. Let's react. Let's do it. Are you ready to react? Yeah. For yeah. a second time. <gasps> <laughs> okay, yeah, going to do the unboxing thing. Right, you get a little... This is a um, uh, Loctite. Thread glue. For, yeah, whatever. You, the blue stuff you put on the threads to stop them coming undone. Um, I thought that that <clears throat> might have been because they may be from factory... Forgot. This has happened before with skate brands where the factories forgot to put on the, the thread Loctite. Uh, but I just looked at the bolts and they, they didn't. So I don't know why you get an extra packet of Loctite, but you well, can I mean, never have too much Loctite. Yeah, every time you if you keep undoing the bolts and doing them up, it's just going to disappear. Yeah. So you put more on. Yeah. yeah. Second thing in the box, in a little nice little drawstring, like Hessian bag, is these shock absorber, a kind of anatomical... Three quarter insoles. Two third. Yeah, I was going to mm. say two third. Mm. Three quarter <laughs> insoles, which you like. They, they feel they feel like a good density for shock absorption. Yeah, give that a squish. Nice. Give that a squish, Gaston. That is a good quite squish. F- quite squishy but firm at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, no, these are great for um, sizing issues. Yeah. So if they feel a little bit too big, you can uh, chuck one of those in, reduce the volume, mm. but also. If you've got quite high arches, and when you uh, put weight on your foot, your foot elongates, then that should fill in your arch a little bit, stop that happening. And get more room in your tootsies. Would they go in the liner or underneath it? That's a good question. In, no, definitely. I'm going to so, say in. so curved. They're it looks so, like, so curved. That they're definitely going in. You need sure. your heel to sit in that. You yeah. get this Allen cool. key tool, like all the other Allen key tools we've seen, uh, with a bearing pusher. So plastic bearing pusher. Bearings in sure. these skates. So no bearings to push at the moment, but... Skates often come with a bearing pusher, don't they? And no one pushes bearings out these days. You can't push it with that end bit. It's going to break off. You can't off. pull it with that. It also comes with like a sole kit, Allen key in there as well. Good to have. Okay, here's the, the reaction. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. So I thought when I opened these up for the first time, I thought that the first thing, well, I took them out of the box and I saw this shiny window of carbon fiber at the back and I thought it looked really premium and uh, it was all gl- glimmering and shiny and I loved it. It looks like a kind of high-end car part or something. Um, other things instantly noticeable is the beautiful uh, blue kind of satin shimmering cuff bolt washer. I really like that and it gives it a unique look. You don't see a lot. Is there any other skates with a... I think them skates are doing something a bit like that now, aren't they? Them skates, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's unique. I like it. And the Rollerblade Blank have them as well, but not right. colourful ones. But, yeah, the colour. The, I like the finish on it, like the anodised blue. Looks great. First reactions to look? Yeah, I'm down with the... I love a white skate, so I'm down with the colourway. I'd probably just change the laces to black, but I think the sole plate's cool. It's a nice royal blue, isn't it? So it's... I'm down with it. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, I'm not opposed. Um, I'm a fan of the CJ skates, and I guess there's um, yeah, there's like a lot, a lot of similarities, a few key differences, but mm. similar toe box, and um, yeah, they've done a good job at like not overdoing it, but also making it interesting, you know. Mm. Personally, um, yeah, I'm not really a white skate guy, and I'm not really a coloured skate guy. I'd, I'd change the part, the blue parts, out to neutral where I could. Um, but that's just my personal preference. I think generally, I think the, 
the biggest thing about this gate um, compared to the last faction release uh, is the like the material um, textures. So the last, the black one, um, and I didn't really look at that closely in real life. I saw it from a distance at Winter Clash, and that's it. By the way, this is the first time we've had a faction skate in, in stock at Loco Skate. Um, so, yeah, great to have them. Um, but we've not really seen the skate closely. And the old black one seemed to have, like, quite long... It was almost like a suede... It was like a suede material that had like almost long, like, I want to call it, what do you call it? A pile, like a carpet. Like it, it was quite a thick pile mm. on the mm. material and it made it look, for me, it made it look a little bit prototypey. So, and this one looks like a real finished product. It's just like, it's got a smooth finish. Like all the materials look really premium um, and look just really, it just, it just looks stylistic and I, it, it, there's nothing about this that doesn't look like super high end and premium and awesome. I really like this elastic sort of upper lace loop in the liner. Um, I think that's really useful uh, because it's really annoying when you've done one lace and then you're like, oh, I've got to like find the, you know, there's always like a struggle to do both laces up. So that's really cool. Kind of looks like an old Salomon liner, is it? Mm. Doesn't feel like one, but it looks kind of like one. Not sure on that. But yeah, I know what you're saying about the, the the Brandon Campbell. It looks like it's got the same toe mm, part, yeah, and it's like got that same thickness on the top of the liner as the Solomon Brandon Campbell liner. Definitely, I think mm. it looks like it as well. Um, what? So those those elasticated laces, oh, they just do up with a toggle, right? Okay, yeah, yeah just yeah, toggle yeah. them. I think that's good. I mean, you've got a buckle there anyway for your support. The one thing that I don't like doing every time I put my skates on is just messing about with laces. It's just another thing in the way to you getting on with a session. And particularly in the winter when you've got cold fingers, <laughs> I'd like an elastic lace at the top. So, yeah, bring on more elastic laces. Mm. And as you guys have seen, it's got a removable liner. And I didn't know... I mean, I'm sure I didn't... I just hadn't, like, remembered... <laughs> that that was the case. I kind of assumed that this would be an integrated liner skate and then realised that it's got a uh, removable liner, which turns this from a skate that I thought, oh, yeah, I could, like, I'll put that on and comment on it, to I might skate that because I like a removable liner. It gives me options. Um, and it makes the skate, for me, when it's got a removable liner, feel more solid, like having just an extra layer of something in there. I like that. Mm. Yeah, I guess, you know, if you're, um, you know, lots of people have sizing issues and not everyone's foot's the same, so it makes that skate more accessible to people who want to use a different liner, um, and that's great. And But also carbon fibre, I feel a lot of vibration for mm. a carbon fibre skate, and they don't have the same solidity as a plastic skate, so putting a, a, a removable liner in actually starts to change the game a little bit on that. So I'm interested, interested to try. Mm. Sizing. Shall we, shall, shall I try them on? Yeah, Put try them on. on. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the size chart and the labels are uh, interesting, but the actual fit test will tell all. Yeah. <clears throat> so as they're doing that, they're both trying on a US 9 which would historically be a UK 8. So, yeah, it um, fits like a UK 7. Um, now, the tongue of the liner says US 9, UK 8.5, EU 41.5. Um, we think that's just an incorrect printing on the tongue label because mm. the box doesn't doesn't list anything other than the US size. Mm. Their website doesn't list UK sizes. So I think we can ignore the tongue label. That doesn't seem correct. Uh, UK 8.5, US 9, and the fact it feels like a UK 7 to me, 7 to 7.5. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, more digging, and I'm sure there's information about this, but, um, yeah, on their website, on their size charts, they size their shells and liners slightly differently i think it might be too complicated for this video to go into it but you can have a look at their website to get their full yeah, size have, chart yeah they have a look at their size chart is pretty techers mm. i mean i could feel 
like the padding around this area is pretty stiff and big to begin with. I can imagine my foot just falling back in the liner after a, a, a few sessions, just right. warming up that heel area. Yeah. Maybe maybe with heat moulding as well, that would, you know, you just be able to, your foot would sit back a little bit because at the moment my foot's like sort of right up against the end. Mm. In, not in a not uncomfortable way, but I can imagine, I can feel it pushing. I can feel around my sides of my Achilles heel and stuff at the, you know, right at the bottom. Yeah, it feels, yeah, like a seven, but obviously it's brand new out of the box and it hasn't been heat moulded, which it can be. Big fat Although, liners as well. And they're fat liners. So, yeah, that's the other thing I was going to say. Yeah, they, the, the initial reaction to put my foot in this was it is really comfortable. Um, and the liner feels fat and supportive. Like, it's not as soft as the Brandon Campbell liner, where that was like kind of fabric squishy like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels, but it is genuinely a good, it's a really good density. Hmm. And I struggle a lot, especially with carbon fiber skates. I struggle a lot with um, comfort. And for me, that does, like right now, my foot just sitting here, I mean, obviously I haven't skated it yet, mm. but it feels like, yeah, it's the perfect medium of support and, and squishiness. The technical <laughs> nice. term, squishiness. squishiness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like squishy bits. Um, sole plates on this one are really cool. I like, um, I prefer these ones to the original ones, at least in look. Haven't skated either, so I can't comment on that. But They do look better than the original black one as well. Yeah, yeah. again, it, it gives it more of a finished look rather than a prototype look, mm. I think. Um, and nice details in it as well. The little faction logo is like, is it embossed or is it the opposite? Debossed. Embossed. Debossed. Um, debossed. Debossed. And in the bottom as well. Yeah. So, yeah, really nice details on the... Um, the sole plates. Um, this sole kit is Justin Thursday designed. Yeah. It, it's not 3D printed. It's, a, it's, it's cast what mold? Injection, Injection something. Injection molded glass filled nylon sole plates. Okay. There yeah, so Justin Thursday stuff is usually like a, he, he's big on 3D printing and he's, he's a guy that does a lot of 3D printing of like aftermarket skate parts. But I think he's just designed this and then they've had it kind of more kind of mass produced and it feels, yeah, really solid. It doesn't it feels like actually, well, when I th thought a minute ago that this was 3D printed, when we told everyone in the last video that it was 3D printed, <laughs> um, I was thinking like, wow, that's like, the 3D printing has really come a long way, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's what? not, it's uh, injection molded. Uh, good size. Should we, I'm going um, to measure the size. That's what people want in these videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like the... Um it's got an absorption pad as well between the mm. plate and the boot, which is especially good for carbon fiber skates. Yeah. Yeah, it looks thick as well. It looks like a really nice, yeah. squidgy, thick. What Gaston means is the, yeah, that bit between the, the sole plate and the boot. And it, the anti-clack mm. pad. It's good for carbon fiber stuff, definitely. Makes yeah. a solid thump. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's three size sole plates as well, small, medium, and large across the size range. Okay. That's useful to anyone. Well, one of them was a 39 to 41, because I saw that. Yeah, it's the... actually 36 to 31, 40. to 41, and then 42, 43, and then 44 to 46. Okay. Interesting, good, cool. And then, so this one is the medium size sole plate, which is on the UK, you know, whatever, it's on a 42. That's not, that's not the UK <laughs> sizes. US e, 9. US 9. Hmm. If you're going to buy these skates, here's what I'd say. If you're going to buy these skates, look at the US size for a start. Don't look at any other sizes that you confuse yourself. And I would say possibly buy a size oh, up. Up. Say it's in between, so I'd say like if in doubt, that whole thing of like if in doubt, go half hmm. a size to a size bigger. We're not officially advising you what size to buy yeah you should figure it out for yourself yeah. and because it's all about individual um how you feel individually because like some people f just like it tight i'm a us 8.5 i would skate this us 9 heat molding we just we did mention they're heat moldable they are heat moldable yeah um it's about 90 degrees celsius celsius um for about 10 to 15 minutes, keep an eye on it in the oven. You can keep the sole plates and all of the hardware on, just like 
loosen the laces and tuck it in and stuff. And um, yeah, fully heat moldable. Also worth mentioning that um, we this video isn't really to sell the skates because we've sold out of them already. Well, I mean, hopefully they'll make more of these. Hopefully straight away. Hopefully they they can do it quickly. I don't know what their production timeline is like. But, uh, yeah, pretty much we've just got one set left. So, yeah, if you want this one, I'm trying on, then get, jump on the website real quick. Mm. Um, and I think Faction are sold out as well. So, yeah, really popular skate, I guess, because it's so new and this is, like, their first real, like, production, mm. proper production skate, whereas the ones before felt like kind of pre-production almost, didn't they? So, um, if I can say that, yeah. is it okay to say? You've got, I mean, you've got to give them respect for coming through of a whole new design and boot brand from scratch you know it's worth doing a video just just highlighting them as a brand mm. i know. love i love that story as well i love that they you know i don't know how long they've been going i guess like they came on the radar a couple of years couple ago of years I maybe yeah I don't know if i got yeah. if i got the timeline right but yeah i i like that they came on as just like you know homemade thing and obviously those first models that came out, there was like some compromises. I just love the story that they, yeah, they had this thing that they like got out themselves and did everything they could to get out this like kind of homegrown product. Mm. And now a couple of years down the line, the, the development into this mm. premium, high-end, incredible, um, yeah, incredible piece of sports equipment, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, there's nothing about that that feels homegrown yeah. or like two-man band style you know this exactly is, this is a proper thing like like what usd would make or, or a high-end brand would make yeah and you could take the sole plate off and it's ufs boots still so big wheel options yeah. oh wizard options yeah mm. if uh, if our wizard skating fans are looking for something else and removable liners so you can even get the intuition in there as well yeah. so. should we should we set it up Probably and take should. a picture for the gram probably yeah. should do you know, we, we've talked about this a few times in videos, haven't we? But there's very few options out there for Wizard, actual good Wizard skates. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, the CJ, that's why people use that Seba CJ so much, because it's got a removable liner, the, that a version of it has, yeah. and it's UFS mount. And then the Icon came along, and that became a good option for Wizard, and now this. There's really, like, not many other options out there other than those three, really. Mm. Mm. Well, I mean, you can put them on any UFS UFS skate. aggressive skate, yeah, but, but yeah. the kind of something that matches the Ciba CJ carbon boot yeah, or the, the Wizard preferred. Skate, the original one, yeah. Yeah, mm. the preferred kind of setup for Wizard Skaters. What's in the bottom of the, of the boot? Um, so it's just like nicely finished sort of lining. It's probably quite hard to show it yeah, on different. camera, but it's like, it's squishy, you know, so it's uh, like... Um, you know, like a cotton that's been stitched in and then there's something like soft just kind of protecting protecting everything a little bit, but it's really well, really well finished in there, nice and tidy. Um, I would say, oh yeah, just the other thing to mention as well, the sole kits. Well, the groove looks like an M12, I'd say an M12-ish groove, the way it like mm. sits back like that on the, on the heel a bit further back, mm, mm. maybe giving you a bit of an M12 style angle and it is quite, it comes... Uh, maybe it's an optical illusion, but, you know, it looks like a decent depth. And then the other thing is it's got the wheel wells, so the two ones at the end. So if you want to skate a big wheel at the end there, and then it's even got the sunken middle wheel wells. So just to give you that extra millimetre or two, if you're trying to fit in a big big wheel Sort of 65 setup. millimetre setup or something. Yeah, like and when I say big wheel setup, I mean even aggressive, an aggressive big wheel setup. If you want to skate flat with, with big wheels that are going to touch the frame. Um, the channel here for the frame is just like a normal size channel. It's not particularly deep or particularly shallow. Looks good. And then I'm going to measure. This won't mean anything out of context, I don't think, but I'll put on the screen, I'll put the size of other cell kits to compare What's it to. What's the uh, Royale ratio on that one? Oh, it's a, uh, <laughs> 94.3 Royale ratio. Um, by the way, Royale, I know this caused a lot of comments on a video. Thanks for intera interacting with our well, our ratio video, everyone. Um, I think one person commented that what we were trying to do was trigonometry. And I think that's, I want to say that's what I was trying to get at. Because mm. a few people went, well, why don't you just like measure the angle and give us the angle? But like, I did, I understood that. But what I was trying to do was a sum, like that you could consistently 
apply. Maybe we won't do YOA shows anymore. Okay. I think it's a, yeah. I think it's, it was Worth a good subject. Further. It was, it was a lot, worthy video. A lot of people were interested in the idea. Yeah. So, you mm. know. But I mean, yeah, a lot. there was a lot of comments that just mm. were kind of like, yeah, just why not just give an angle, like a, yeah. an angle. We're not. Which, fair enough. It's yeah. kind of, mm. yeah. I think maybe I thought about it too deeply trying to come to an equation or something. Um, so, yeah, sorry, the front is four, 40 millimetres. And the back at the widest point is uh, 38 millimetres, hmm. which uh, is tapered just, at the back. This slightly. is like the size, you know, eight ish, UK, uh, US nine. So, yeah, tapered at the back. And so people do that a lot, the taper at the back. I guess there's a particularly good reason for that. Is it something to do with, I'm um, just speculating, um, so when on aggressive wheels in particular when you use the edges and turning and things it's just to stop that back bit from scraping on the floor and you sliding out and having a horrible time on your hip could be or backside rails or backside rails it's probably that's some more on ledges makes more sense I can't think what advantage it has really in a sole situation or topside situation mm. um, but or yes is it just to keep it looking slim maybe like less resistance on Alley tricks, like like you just said, it's the shape. That's how a mm. heel is shaped on a foot. So it's just following the line. Yeah, of that. So that it's probably just that, isn't it? Put some put some information in the comments. Yeah, guys. What, what do you guys think is the reason for the tapering on the yeah. back of the skate? Should it sort of dip in there as well at the back? Oh, it does. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's a. I think I don't think that's a production mistake because it's on mine as well. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if it's so there's less surface area as you're grinding, so it's faster. Yeah, but you yeah. think it'd just wear down instantly, wouldn't you? But oh, that would make sense. It would yeah. wear down after a bit of time, yeah. Cool, man. I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm actually kind of in the market for that because I'm skating the Icon Skate and I'm skating on it isn't a carbon fibre boot. But like the fact that that feels so solid with a removable liner makes suddenly makes that an option for me when they bring it out in black, I think. They bring a, a neutral one out. So um, Faction, uh, Faction's team as well. This is a, a good one. So, yeah, it's so actually, I, I, I'm just curious because um, I knew um, China and Victoria, but Cameron Card, so OG. Cameron Card, okay. He's an official, and actually now that I'm reading that, I remember watching clips of him ages ago in the first one. Um, Eric Michael, um, who I don't know too much about, unfortunately, but I'll check him out. Jimmy Sizz. Sizz. Uh, is this Shredpool, Blade Skilson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. And then they've got an extended team, uh, Ian McLeod, Matt Leon, Mario, I'm sorry, P Pasia, yeah, yeah. Pacia, not quite sure how to pronounce that, Fry Gomez, Victoria, Tina Velata, Annick Kirkhoffs. Um, so, very oh, China, is China's name not on there? China's on there. She's yeah. on the like, she's not she's, the extended team. She's she, the, China's on the like, the main team. Main team. Okay. And then they have an extended team. So, yeah. So, this, 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 I'd say the star rider for faction is China. Mm. She's just like, I love everything that she does. Mm. Um, and then obviously we are sponsoring Victoria as well. Um, so a real um, focus, well, just really good female riders. And for me, like actually the two kind of star riders on that team, which is really refreshing to see. That um, is really refreshing to see, yeah. Anything more? Um, <laughs> if you're watching this video and you want a set, Sorry, they <laughs> pretty much sold out everywhere. You might be watching this video in six to 12 months' time, and there might be more stuff. And there might be more, that's a good point. Um, so you might be watching this then. Yeah. Have a look on yeah. the Local Skates website. Okay, um, comment if you like. And, oh yeah, watch our other video. <laughs> watch that video we did where we blindfolded Harry and Gaston and got them to guess which skates to put on, because I don't think the um, algorithm liked it. It's too short. I think YouTube went. No. Put, put, a link in, in, put a link in the description. Uh, well, I put 
I'll put one right yeah. now at the end, oh, of the oh. vi- vi- end of the video coming up. Okay. Everyone finish what they're saying? And I yep. won in that video as well. Just Harry won. So, won. yeah, and he's disappointed that like not as many people watched it as mm. should have. It was I'm happy because I said I was going to win and I didn't. Yeah. It's sort of my peak of my career. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, watch that video here and watch some other video over here. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.